Kick off your week right with an entire show of hot topics. There was one performance this year that stunned me. Street takes on Trump. How she called him out from the Golden Globe stage and how Donald's firing back. Plus, Kim's crooks caught? Police round up 16 suspects as she breaks her silence about her terrifying ordeal. And some of the biggest superstars in entertainment are helping The View with a season 20 surprise that you can get in on. Let's get this party started with Whoopi, Sunny Hostin, Joy Behar, Sarah Haynes, and Jedediah Bila. Now, let's get things started. Golden Globes Award, uh, Meryl Streep won the Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award, and she got a little political during her acceptance speech. Take a look. But there was one performance this year that stunned me. It, it sank its hooks in my heart. Not because it was good. It was, there was nothing good about it. <laughs> but it was effective, and it did its job. It made its intended audience in our country imitated a disabled reporter, someone he outranked in privilege, power, and the capacity to fight back. It, it kind of broke my heart. So we'll get to that person's response in a minute, but uh, <coughs> did she get you? Did she make you see it? Did she make you feel it? Was it inappropriate, appropriate? What do you think? She made me turn it off. Um, if I'm being oh. honest. She did. She made me turn it off. Not because I don't respect her right to an opinion. Um, not because I, I think she's a phenomenally talented actress. But when I turn on an award show, I don't want to be lectured about politics. I don't want to be lectured about climate change or about the NRA or about a left-wing issue or a right-wing issue. I want to appreciate your talent as an actor. I want to appreciate these films, and I want to leave the politics out of it. And I hate when this happens because nine out of ten times we'll all agree the views do shift left and there are people out there who love Meryl Streep and love her acting but don't want to be made to feel like they're being marginalized for their politics in a moment that's not about politics. Okay, it's you know, about know what's them, beautiful about the story is that of course uh, uh, Donald Trump tweeted she's an overrated actress. <laughs> you know, he's such a baby. Of course, she's no Scott Bayo, I'll admit that. You know? <laughs> but, but that is his response, whether she did it and annoyed you or not. Mm -hmm. He is supposed to be the president of the free world. <laughs> he's not there to, to do tit for tat over every little slight that goes that goes through his uh, thin skin. That is not his I job. I would agree with you that. That's okay. not his place to respond okay. that way. If Donald I, Trump should be focused on how to fix the country, yeah, not on the award yeah. show. I, I disagree with you, Jed, in, in the sense that I think that people look up to actors. They look up to athletes. They, they role model off of them. And that was such an incredible platform. And what she was speaking out against was, or in support of, was freedom of the press, not making fun of disabled people, uh, supporting arts in, in our country. And so those, th that message um, was really significant to me. It really resonated with me. Yeah. And what she said specifically was um, this instinct to humiliate when it's modeled by someone in the public platform, by someone powerful, it filters down into everybody's life. Yeah. And that is wait, wait, very, let me, let me very say, true. Let me say something. When, I, I agree with Sonny's end point. When you said the part, though, about I think people look up to them, uh, my, the point that resonated with me is that these are the people that tell the stories. When you think mm -hmm. of hidden figures or some of these movies that are out there speaking to women or overcoming struggle, I don't know if you can separate their political beliefs and their performances because they seek their motivation in those feelings. So to me, whereas I sometimes disagree when I'm at, when I talk, we talked about comedians once we went back and forth, mm -hmm. 
in this particular instance, when they take that stage, they're getting their moment so rarely when they actually get the award that I think that's what drives well, them. That's know, what this community is about. Here's yeah. the thing. They, they, he, she, there's a lot of flack about she's a celebrity and she shouldn't be political, which is something that you're, you're indicating. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that on a award well, show. She can okay. be political all she wants in her. I, I don't no, no, care. No, no. People she's don't entitled like it. to her opinion. People do not like it when actors speak about politics. However, however this country just elected a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> We just elected a celebrity, well, so let, maybe he should keep quiet. Lifestyles then. of the rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the the other thing is, you know, she's overrated, and she can back it up. You can't say the same. <laughs> <laughs> Megan McCain, not you, you know, but Megan McCain says that uh, tweeted that the speech was why Trump won, and if people in Hollywood don't start recognizing why, you'll help get him reelected. So. Uh, let me just put this out there. Stop using Hollywood as this bad word. Let me remind everybody that in the 70s and prior to that, Hollywood was really sort of run by the right leaning groups, True. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, that's how yeah. we ended up yeah. with uh, McCarthyism and all of these so-called lefties being rounded up and eaten, basically, for their beliefs. Secondly, uh, a lot of actors have always come from real life, so they have a different thing, a different way of looking at stuff. So stop painting this idea because, you know, I, I, I'm harking back to the conversation we had, and, and it, I, I've been thinking about it, and I remember that I can't name one right-leaning person who has ever lost their job for being a right-leaning person, but I can name you at least 15, 20 people have lost their ability to make a living, including myself, uh, because of right-leaning folks saying, oh, you, you said that, you shouldn't be saying that. So my point is, hmm. it's not a Hollywood thing. This is people talking about people. Nobody is afraid, as you can see, to say what they want. But Danny Glover ate a lot of poop. Uh, during the Bush administration, as did Sean Penn. Yeah, but I can't, right. I can't name any right-leaning people who ate anything in the last eight years. I think if you, if you had more diverse, when you had an award show like this, <laughs> if you saw more diversity of thought represented, it seems as though every time what, an issue wait, is brought up, but wait a minute, it's a center-left you, 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 issue. No, no, you, you can't look at it that way because people aren't voting on whose uh, politics is what. People get the award because they're the best person. Right. That's I, how that I, works. I agree, but when you... I, I remember in the so part there can't where... Be more, I, I'm sorry, there can't be more diversity because that's a different kind of award show. But when people are watching and they hear Meryl Streep say something like, Hollywood is crawling with outsiders and foreigners, and if we kick them all out, you'll have nothing to watch but football, it goes on and on. The implication that people feel, let's say there's somebody at home who loves Meryl Streep, mm -hmm. but voted for Donald Trump, and they're saying, is she implying that I voted for a guy that did that? That's not what he said. That's well, not but, what I'm but about. Yes, it but that, marginalizes but I think people. That, well, I think that people what? have a different feel about it. We had, we've always voted differently. We had George Bush. A lot of people didn't like him. A lot of people did. We had uh, uh, the Clintons. We, we've had all kinds of but people. I would, this I is the first would take time. George Bush back now. This is, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Water yeah. That. <laughs> I would. This is the first time we've had people <laughs> saying specifically, those people are an issue. This shouldn't be happening. You're a problem. Women do this. That, that's a complete, this is a completely different thing. And if you didn't think that you could stand up for what you voted for, maybe you have to look at why you voted for him. And, and I'd, like to, I'd like to go back to Joy's point um, about Donald Trump tweeting in response to what happened, what Meryl Streep said. In his interview um, with Megyn Kelly in May 2016, he said this, when I'm wounded, I go after <coughs> people hard and I try to unwound myself. It's so he pathetic. again is talking about that. It's so pathetic. And he's oh, talking about God. that instinct to humiliate. He tried to make fun of a disabled reporter. He mocked the reporter. He tweeted out this morning, I wasn't really mocking the reporter. I was just talking about his groveling. Donald? We all know that you try to mock the disabled when I, reporter. When I first What's saw that, when I first speaking out against that, when I first that. saw that right. clip of Donald Trump talking about the reporter, I said he clearly to me it looked like he was mocking the but reporter. That's what then Meryl I watched. Was talking wait, about. then I watched a series of clips of Donald Trump using those mocking exact hand people. gestures yeah. to mocking, mock other people. Mo so I don't know that wait. he was mocking that reporter for being. Can we, 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 we have a clip? Wait, 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 wait,
wait, hold on, hold on. I don't on. know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I had the, oh, maybe that's what I said. I look, can't believe at the you look, look, can I, can I know, we have a sound of him talking about Ted Cruz a in the past. Means sound we have a tape. sound of him talking about Ted Cruz in the past. Can, can, do you guys have that in the back that you can yeah. show? What he said, Senator Cruz, what do you think of waterboarding? Oh, uh, I don't want to talk about it. You know, he didn't, he didn't want to talk about waterboarding. That's him talking about Ted Cruz. That looks like a very was, similar. But, but, I'm not saying he wasn't mocking listen, Ted Cruz. Listen, and the point is he guy. was mocking. The point is he mocked the person. Whether he's mocking one person or 20 people, he's a mocker. That's yeah. fine, but. He's a mocker. And he mocked a disabled you know, reporter. And, yeah. But Wait the implication second. At the is very, that he was imitating. Okay, he, but he at, can I just say this? At the very least, he should have the sense not to do those hand gestures yeah. if he's talking about a person who's disabled. I agree. He doesn't yeah. even have the sense to realize what he's doing. Well, the other thing is, I think he knew okay. very well what he was we say, doing. We say right. over and over when we talk about the reasons of the people who didn't vote for Trump. Mm -hmm. he's, Sonny, you've listed them 15,000 yes. times. Mm -hmm. So when you go through all the reasons why we didn't vote for Trump, I agree, Jed, that not everyone voted for him because of those reasons. They say they voted in spite of those reasons. Yes. But they have to be strong enough when they hit, are watching a show and see Meryl Streep speak. You can't deny the facts of what she's saying. You could still vote for him and say, I voted for this reason yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah. But it's okay that she still said the pretend. speech because it's, yeah. they're, they can both exist. She can be right about right. what he did, and you can still say, yeah. I can push that aside and vote for this reason. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically their answer. I, yeah. I don't, I don't think that's what people... Why would you turn off the I television, think that, Jeff? I turned off the television because I'm tired of hearing <laughs> political commentary on award shows. And, and, and if you look at... Take a look at social media. Talk to people in middle America. Talk to people who feel that Hollywood is completely out of touch with them and that every time they go... Do I need to, to explain tribute? Hollywood to you no, again? No, but yes. today... <laughs> well, let's move on. Yes. Yes. Have to do it. You know what? Forget, forget Donald Trump right now. Okay, forget him. Okay, forget Donald Trump. How can you? Let's talk about Tracy Ellis Ross. Yes. Okay. Who won, won her Golden Glow. Yes, she did for Best Actress in a Comedy Series. And let's talk about Moonlight oh, yeah. for winning Best Picture Drama. There's all kinds of hot topics to talk about, and they don't all involved the yeah. teammate. <laughs> well, so we are going to go and come right back so we can give this girl some cool water and calm her down. Still ahead, Russian reality check. How Republicans want Trump to face the facts about election hacking and why Donald blames Democrats. Don't miss a second of today's show, because some of our most famous friends are helping us announce a major season 20 surprise that could make you win big. So, welcome back. I, I want to do something before we continue, because there was some concern about my shirt. Uh-oh. Oh. My shirt says what? Make, make trouble. trouble. OK? Let's <laughs> make trouble. I generally try to wear interesting shirts. So I what don't... was the flack you got on that? Oh, well, that? they didn't know what it said. Oh, okay. They were oh. concerned it might have said something. Make a bubble. <laughs> you know, you should be watching my fingers, not my shirt. <laughs> Republican senators <laughs> are urging you know who to embrace <laughs> intelligence agencies finding their findings on the Russian hacking. But that person is still insisting that it had no impact on the outcome of the election. Now, one thinks, should he be more concerned about what a national security issue is rather than, say, Meryl Streep? <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah. But he also, it's funny, because Trump claimed on Friday that the intelligence that everybody knows that the Russians hacked into uh, showed, quote, there was absolutely no effect on the outcome of the election. I don't believe that the intelligence would actually have an opinion. All it is is they did this, they uh, hacked in, Putin was behind it. They have all of the facts. Mm -hmm. They don't then say it had an effect on the election. Right. So, so he, he makes this stuff up as he goes along. He lies constantly. Well, he's missing the point, You too. never know when he's telling the truth and when right. he's lying. Right, no one here is questioning the outcome. This is where his ego is getting in the way. 
No one's saying we're trying to retroactively figure out if you really won or you didn't. Well, that's what they're saying. Of. A foreign power should never be involved in a free democracy. Right. And he's missing that because his well, ego I, keeps blinding think, him. No, I think he knows exactly what we're right. saying. So and I. that makes him a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. Because the question would be, in any other country, if this happened, America would go, well, this kind of puts a little bit of a taint on this. Yeah. Yeah. It's now, a, and it does. And but, it you know, everybody's trying to be nice and say, well, let's see. But, you know, Donald. Yeah. But every time... And it's a kind it, of a sticky wicket. But I, I believe, and don't you, I'm sure, that it did influence the election. Well, I mean, every time something came out, the timing of it was interesting. Every time something came out about Hillary or about her, the DNC emails, I remember yeah. that, uh, that show. the pizza thing. I mean, name it. All sorts Crazy of stuff. stuff. And nothing. How do we know what the RNC has, was writing? We might have found out a lot mm -hmm. of things about his tax returns in there. We might have found out about things that he owed Russia money. We don't know what was in theirs. So yeah. it was not equal. And, yeah. and that's why it influenced yeah. the election. And that's and why think, he's uncomfortable. Go ahead, And baby. I think he's uncomfortable because it does, in a sense, call into question the legitimacy of not only the election, right. but his winning the election, right? So that calls into, right. con and, and calls into question like the legitimacy. Yeah. You know what's of, sad of about him? He wants to be loved. And, and, and you know what? Nobody you really. Try being lovable. We, well, that's the problem with people who need to be loved so much. They have to love. You know, what did the Beatles once say? All you need and, is love. And in the end, the love you get is the equal to the love you give. So oh. he's got to give it out a little more now. Yeah, I think he's relying on... He's relying yeah. on this idea that, you know, when he talks about hacking, he's thinking of, you know, actual voting booths being hacked and yeah. voting, be, like you know, he did. votes being switched. <laughs> and that's not, that, influencing election can go a number of ways. I'm releasing information, hacking into, uh, you know, individuals or the DNC or Podesta's email and releasing information yeah. that could potentially have hurt Hillary Clinton. I think ultimately did. I think people mm -hmm. saw that yeah, and course. were swayed yeah. in many ways. That's my opinion. But that's also influencing election. And we know now that Putin was at the head of that, that he, he orchestrated an influence campaign, mm -hmm. that he sought to make it as, as possible as he could for Donald Trump to win. You had paid social media trolls. It's incumbent upon the leader of the future leader of the free world to say, you, Russia, will not undermine our democratic process. I don't care who wins elections. It needs to happen by virtue of the wishes, the will of the American people. And now you're going to be held accountable. Well, you know what he says. He's insisting <laughs> that having a good relationship with Russia is a good thing, <laughs> and that only stupid people <laughs> or fools think it's bad. They broke into your house. Like, they've pretty much broken into yeah. the house. They broke into yeah. the house saying, and took my stuff. Them. There's, there's a trust problem here that I, I don't think he's either read in on the history or... But you know what's interesting? I think Republican senators, especially McCain, who's been a senator since, I think, 1987, and then you also have Mitch McConnell, they're coming out and they're telling Donald Trump, we do not support this position that you have. Mm -hmm. And I, I think what was interesting, Mitch McConnell also said on CBS's Face the Nation, I don't think it's unusual for a new president to want to get along with the Russians. George W. Bush wanted to get along with the Russians, yeah. and that ends very, very quickly. You learn very quickly well, once Reagan you're in office got along, that they're your adversary. Reagan got along with Gorbachev, but Gorbachev was a different kind of Russian from Putin. But yeah. Reagan, well, and Reagan also yeah. came... Look it up. Reagan also came from a position of strength. It's very hard. You can argue for diplomacy in situations, but not when someone's undermining the democratic process of your country. Before you can be diplomatic with them, you have to set them straight and say, yeah. you want me at the negotiating yeah, you table? You have to start with you the truth. You have to treat us with you respect. You have to start with the right. truth. Right. Well, he has and to so we're that. starting behind the truth. We're starting you know behind the he can't handle the truth. Well, he, he, he can't can handle the truth because cannot. the truth is <laughs> what would have happened if you hadn't been backed up by fake news and lies yeah. and all kinds of things that you persuaded people because it appeared in a thing. We know that when we see stuff, if you say that, it, we have no reason to think that you're lying. Don't you think we should you do know? the whole thing over? Really, it didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> do it over again. You know what? Start from scratch. There's you no know guarantee what? it would be different. And there's no guarantee. There it isn't a guarantee. Well, like but I tell you out. what I don't like. I don't like the fact that there's a dark cloud over it. Yeah, I don't it like sucks. the fact that there's yeah. a stinky dark cloud well, over it. Like because it. I have to tell you, if Obama had done any of this, oh, forget it. any of this, you know, from having his daughters or Michelle, if Michelle had sat in a, 
as many meetings as Ivanka. Trump's daughter has sat in, yeah. we, our heads would explode. That's why yeah. people got pissed off yeah. at Mrs. Clinton to begin with, because she was oh, too yeah. involved. Yeah. Was Don't there, forget yeah. that. I mean, I, I'm not talking directly to you. Well, I'm just I know. saying, I I this, is, this is what, yeah. it, this is what yeah. started this funk. Yeah. And there's now a big, funky, stinky cloud <laughs> hanging <laughs> over America sure. saying, you know, are we Russian or are we American? Are we Russian or are we American? Time will tell. Das Vidania. We'll be right back. Later, selfie destruction. The sexy photo that backfired big time and exposed one woman's dirty laundry. Now, welcome back. So, a young woman posted a mirror selfie on Twitter. <laughs> to show off her new dress. It's and she was me. instantly roasted by people who could not believe what a mess her apartment was. <laughs> people even zoomed in on stuff on her floor, asking questions like, bitch, is that a waffle maker? <laughs> the backlash made her start a GoFundMe page called Pay My Tuition and I'll Clean My Room. I <laughs> saw that. Talk about that's making great. lemonade out of lemons. I, smart PR. I've had that happen to me. I once posted right after I had the baby, there was a strong woman, um, strong mom challenge on Twitter, and I posted a picture of myself. Little did I know that it was framing the bar in the background. So I got more drinks of, or more comments about all the alcohol <laughs> behind me than I had, hadn't thought of that. <laughs> yeah, I did that once, and my, my bed was complete. I had my mother, my grandmother, my, my boyfriend at the time's mother all yelling at me that I told the whole world that I didn't make my bed. It was like 9 o'clock at night. It was a disaster. There were clothes piled. But I think you forget. You know, a selfie is about self-absorption. In that moment, you're like, you're like, mm. The dress is amazing. <laughs> you know, and you don't, whatever. There could be a human back here in my apartment. I don't know, and I don't see him. I don't see anything. I'm just, mm. That's a good one. You know. Is that it? <laughs> OK. A study <laughs> of what men look for on dating sites found that a guy finds a woman who's not wearing makeup more trustworthy and are suspicious oh. of women who post more glamorous photos. But I bet you they're still likely to date the more glamorous looking broad. I'm just saying. Probably. What do you think? Well, I mean, uh, as if we believe that you're six feet two and graduated from Harvard Law School. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of, uh, you know, what do you call that, uh, smoke and mirrors going on on these sites, don't you think? And well, anyway, I like a bar. Okay? That way I can smell you, I can see what you look like, see you. and make a decision of whether I'm taking you home. Right. Well, 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 online. Because you can't tell if this person has the funk du jour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't like, or so, wears too much well, cologne. You don't, well, you that's don't why know. you just have a drink with them. You don't no, have No, no, I meet him in the bar. Else. I'll meet you at the bar. Yeah, if I like you at the bar, and you ain't drunk and I ain't drunk, we might have conversation. You know what? You know what? Let me, <laughs> why don't you, why don't yes, you just go to AA meetings? That would... <laughs> You can't be too glamorous, I think, in the picture. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> we'll talk. You can't be too glamorous in the picture, though, because then you show up and it's like a letdown, or you have to constantly be that glamorous all the time. So I think it's better to kind of go to the lower bar as what you look like, then you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Okay. Lower you know, the expectations. Let him see you, or let her see you, or let them see you, depending on how many you can handle. I'm the expert at the table, because I met my husband online. Yeah. yeah. And I had someone help me create my profile for a segment on TV, and they said the thing you do is don't dress up like New Year's glamorous and take pictures, mm -hmm. because what will you look like on the fourth date, the fifth date, the sixth date? Yes. Do just enough that that's what they're going to see when they're with you. Mm -hmm. But about the bar, Whoopi, mm -hmm. have you ever, when it, when you're at a bar and it gets weird, you have to relocate your whole group of friends. Like, online, oh, you can just swipe. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's a good Boop. point. First of, first of all, I don't deal Boop. with a whole group of friends, because mm -hmm. I'm not taking a whole group home. <laughs> so me and my, my girl, one, one person <laughs> home, you know, or at a restaurant. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna depend on whether I'm gonna see you not, or not off the, off the, and I know it's a different world, but yeah. for me, there are too many things I can discover after the fact that I don't want to. Like, I don't, I want to know when I met too. you. No, no, you can smell somebody in the bar. You well, know where somebody is. It's the funk. It's all nasal. Look at their hands. It's all for you. If their fingers, fingernails are dirty. Ew, well, what bars are you in? 
<laughs> Baby, have you ever looked at men's hands? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so and sometimes feet. if they're coming from work, don't worry, don't, well, don't worry about it. It's not a bad thing. But if you're coming from work and you've been working all day and you go to have a beer, your fingernails might be dirty. Yeah, it's true. So yeah. I'm okay with that. But if I come in and you have two odors, that's not good. <laughs> you, you have such a sensitive. Yeah, you always talk though. You're like a bloodhound. I am a bloodhound. They want me to clean up the AA uh, statement I made. Yes. Because oh, I said something. You can meet them at AA. They think that's an inappropriate joke up up there somewhere. Oh, wow. No, it was just not the funniest joke. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> You know, if it's not funny enough, you get job. killed. Well, you know, but they don't know any better. You're <laughs> fine. We often debate whether yeah. men are lying when they say that they like women with no makeup or they like, you know, they yeah. all say, we like you natural. And then there's a girl walking down the street with the fake eyelashes and the hair, and they're like, mm -hmm. yeah. I know. I well, know. Well, baby, I like do, you natural. That has nothing to do with right. you. But no, no, but I think, I think you're right about this. I think the happy medium is where yeah, you go. I enough. think they like to see enough. a little bit of glam, but not over the top. Like, you didn't hire hair, makeup, and a whole team, yeah. like my team from Review to come on me. They will a go, little bit. A like, lot of men, bit. if you ask men, I bet you most of them would say they don't care if it's fake boobs, for instance, or real. They yeah. do that's not true, care. Actually. That's, Some of them are hard. I've I don't asked think that's the men true. on that question. You have? You don't, well, you don't not want to love up to a rock. Not if they're made of cement. All you don't right? want them, like, hard. Are you grabbing her boobs? Wait, we'll see if it's She soft. just, it's happening here. She fills me up on a regular basis. A little squish. A little squish. Well, I mean, I'm saying, I think really? a lot nobody's of talking about the little squish. Huh? God, is that She's you? like this, y'all. Let that go. Yeah, let you that go. You worry about my shit? Yeah. All right. right. Just grab boobs. boobs are okay. <laughs> AA meetings are sacred. Yes, Stop. that's right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sitting here talking about Jedediah's shirt, which seems to be unraveling. <laughs> we like cannot figure out what it is. Like well, it's happening it's over like a there. tail in the back. It's I don't know. Odd. It's it's just an Joy odd. Joy doesn't stop staring at you. You forget seriously what's up with your shirt. I'm like, Joy, like, leave her alone. I'm trying I'm to make my points, like and I have should be going through that hole. <laughs> I, maybe if I had like another arm, I don't. It's pretty. Do you guys though, get it's it? Sparkly. It is pretty. I like it. It's very pretty. It's pretty. Whatever. Whatever. It's like focus on. Too late. I know. I was obsessed because I suddenly saw that it, all this fuss was Stop. going on. But you know, it, it brings to mind this article that was in the New York Times, which looked at dog owners who want their pets to be smart. Yeah. We want her shirt to work. <laughs> like those pet One woman even took her dog to Yale University's Canine Cognition Center. <laughs> Did you even know it was a Canine Cognition Center? No. You, do you need your dog to be smart? No. no. Well, wait a minute. There are dogs that sniff b bombs. There are dogs who oh, can find terrorists or something. I mean, they, they yeah, can but do they're working dogs. Stuff. Those are not the dogs we get at home. Like, the dog I want is just loyal. She doesn't judge me for being smart. So. Yeah. <laughs> In other words, you want a dog that's dumber than you. Is that it? But the smarter the dog is, I think the more it's, e it's easier to train the smart dogs, but more difficult to live with them. My daughter, my um, mother's dog Lola, is a poodle, and poodles are really yeah. smart. And literally, when I when I dog sit for Lola, I say to her, Lola, come inside. And she just if she doesn't feel like coming inside, she just yeah, they don't pay attention. She keeps on going it's true. because she's very smart. And there's a no, list yeah, of that's smart. not why she keeps on going. That bitch got a key. <laughs> She keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> right, but don't you find that the smarter the dog is? I have a very smart dog, mm. and I originally thought that was great because she did come well trained. I would, I would say to her, "Oh, Emma, sit," and she'd run and she'd do everything I said. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? They're also spiteful, though. Yeah. Very spiteful. Oh, she knows exactly that. where I am, what I'm doing. I mm -hmm. could say I'll be back in five minutes. You know what she does? She looks at me when I say I'm gonna be back in five minutes. She goes like this. Like this, and she tilts. If you take a photo of her, she knows she sits. Yeah. She's she's fresh though. She's your dog. She's fresh. <laughs> yes, she's fresh. She's, my dog. she's so bad though. If she, you know what? I want a dumb dog. I said I want a lap dog. I want a dumb dog. Just a dog lap that just gets to come over actually be her very dog. smart. What kind of what kind of it's dog is yours? It's a Maltese. Mine's a Chihuahua. She's so cute and she knows it. Oh, but they she's so not fresh. In the top ten of what smart about dogs. So smart. No. Okay. I'm just gonna no. tell you, every one of these dogs you're about to read is plotting. 
You're right. Okay. Smart dogs plot. They do plot. Sometimes they're laying like this, they look asleep, but their leg is out. They want you to trip. Yeah, yeah. It's right. true. And they might be, they might be judging you too, by yeah, the way. A smart, dog. smart cat. I got a smart cat. Used to sit at the at uh -huh. the at Cats the stairs. Are judging and then you. I looked at him and I was like, "You're trying to push me, aren't yeah. you?" Yeah. Yep. He's like. Mm -hmm. I give yep. her, oh, her. They'll, they'll pee pee on your favorite thing. Oh, they do a lot of they pee poop. Nah. They do, yeah, they do. Poopy. And I uh, okay, ten so. smartest dog breeds. Uh -huh. Border Collie is number one. Yeah, yeah. Right. Poodle, German Smart. Shepherd, Smart. Golden Retriever, right. yeah. Doberman Pinscher, Shetland Sheepdog, Labrador Retriever, Papillon, Rottweiler, Papillon, 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 Rottweiler, and an Australian Cattle Dog. Then Chihuahua. They are the all. Really the chihuahuas. They are right all after that. sitting <laughs> at your computers right now. If you have these dogs. <laughs> They are at your computer going, I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, so it wasn't Russia, you guys. It was the dog. Yes. yes. Come on. <laughs> and on that note, we'll be right back. Good one. Don't move, because when we come back, some of our superstar friends have a season 20 surprise that could totally change your view. We've been telling you about a big announcement to celebrate season 20. But it's so big, we need to bring in some of our famous friends to help us out here. Come on, you guys, come on out. show on the road to Disney World where magic is endless. We are going to broadcast from Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park from March 6th through the 10th, but we're also <laughs> going to hit all four of the parks and baby, we cannot wait. It's not just that the show is going to Disney World. We want you to be part of the action. Take a look. The View wants to send three grand prize winners and their guests to a taping of our show from Walt Disney World Resort in Florida, where magic is endless. The winners will visit all four theme parks. They can experience the magic of nature at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. Step inside movies, TV, music, and theater at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Discover wonder and imagination at Epcot and timeless enchantment at the Magic Kingdom theme park. Winners will also receive a set of American tourister luggage for their magical adventure. Visit abc.com slash the you for your chance to win this unforgettable vacation. Yeah. So, we want to thank our friends at Disney and the official luggage provider of Walt Disney World Resort and Disneyland Resort, American Tourister, for giving our viewers the opportunity to pack more fun into their travel. We hope to see you all down there. Keep watching The View to find out how to get tickets to these shows. Take it away, my friends, and we'll be right back. This is really exciting. It's, the last time I think Joy and I What's went to Disney, we went to Disneyland. But yes. it's been a uh, You guys don't have that experience, do you? No. Have you? no. It's fun. Not with the show, no. It's but I love Disney World. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're going to have an exciting time. You were asking about whether you should. Yeah, I mean, it's not something that I did as a kid. I've been mm -hmm. to Disney World, I think, once. Mm -hmm. um, so I've never been to all four. And I'm wondering, should I bring my kids to meet us there at the end yeah. of the week? Or I, I don't know. I'm it's like, a, I love Epcot. It's so much it. fun. It's Epcot's so much fun. Yeah, it's it's so kind fun. of fantastic. Food. Well, yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, Maybe. if you, you know, if you're thinking about it being a good idea, they'll love yeah, it. They'll you know? love it. And, you know, it, we can mm. run around and run amok, but there's nothing better <laughs> than, you know, than us doing shows from there. We, the last one we did, was uh, in Anaheim. World. Yeah, that's right. But your grandson, Luca, maybe, maybe. Is he working it already? Maybe He's he working should, at it. Emma. He is so smart. <laughs> I told him smart. I, I, he said to me, "Can't you get tickets for Lion King this weekend?" And I said, "No, I can't." He said to me, "You're a celebrity. How come?" <laughs> 
Gee, I wonder where he gets that from. I said, uh, now he knows he the, get perks. That yeah, yeah. the perks. Where does he get that directness, Steve? The perks. He's in touch with the perks now. Well, yeah, yeah. well, yeah. Uh, you you know. bring him. And why can't you get tickets to Lion King? Yeah, why can't I don't know. Does he want to go to Lion King? Maybe well, once yeah. he can. Maybe I can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working you know, on it. I'm working on it. How's Grandma. about a cub sandwich? <laughs> you know, that goes a very long way. <laughs> she doesn't know what it is. You know, I'm in line. She's in. I How was many, in I know you are. are. I Disney know you movies. are. Yeah. She's in everything. What do you know. I know that? How many Disney movies? <laughs> Just a couple, just a couple. I mean, you know, if you count Sister Act. No, no, Sister Act is a Disney, Disney movie. movie. So I don't know right. if you mean animated. I don't know what you All mean. All of them. Um, I think probably four or five. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you know? <laughs> she said, she's, Sarah has seen five. Yes. <laughs> she's seen, oh, there we oh, go. Shoot, well, you know, she is killing me. I know. Right. She keeps getting texts from hey, her husband. Stop wait, wait, hit you got my left hand. Oh, we're back. <laughs> We are so excited that we're getting to come down to play with you. Are you ready for these women to come down to the park and yes. have a good time with you? All right. And you know something? You. Strangely what? enough, I get along very well with this Donald. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Right? Slap me five, Donald. Yeah, baby. And strangely enough, we want you to make sure that you check out our website so you can figure out how to get tickets to join us down there and have a great time. We want you to have a great day, take a little time to enjoy the view, and hey, we're going to Disney World. Yeah. Woo! Good morning, America. Winter storm emergency. At least eight people killed in dangerous conditions coast to coast. This freeway shut down by a mudslide. And evacuations in national parks. As rivers rise in Napa Valley, rescuers saving this man sleeping in his car. And icy conditions causing hundreds of accidents. Now a new major storm set to hit California. Chilling new surveillance video of that deadly rampage at a Florida airport. The gunman walks calmly through baggage lane before opening fire, killing five. Now the FBI facing questions. Could it have done more to prevent the massacre? Breaking overnight. 